teacher, Irina Tweedy, was in India and after her teacher died, she needed to be alone. So she went to the Gandhi ashram in the foothills of the Himalayas. And she was given a little cottage to stay in on a hill just outside the ashram. And there was this steep valley of pine trees that went down to where the ashram was. And one morning, she opened the door of her little cottage and there on the doorstep was a piece of paper. And she opened this piece of paper and it was some writing in Sanskrit. And she couldn't read Sanskrit, so she tossed the piece of paper over the edge of the hill and it floated down to the pine trees. And she went to the ashram and later in the day she came back and there on her doorstep was this little piece of paper again. So she thought that it must have some significance, so she took it to the Swami in the ashram and he translated it. Lord of the universe, Prabhu Sovereign Spirit, beneficent and merciful Allah, my infinite one, at thy command only will I carry out the pilgrimage of life, for the love of all created by thee and for thy glory. And that word is very, very, very old. It is the cry of the heart that contains within it both the, the anguish, it's not even a pain, it's the anguish of separation and also the celebration of union. That is the human condition for each of us. And this is primal cry within the soul, within the heart. We want to go home, we want to go home. And yet, the deep knowing, deep within us, that we are already home. <laughs>